just been announced that uh, Jock Hobbs is stepping down from the board and uh, just have a quick chat with Steve. So, Chewy, um, how did it all you know, get announced to you from Jock? Has he just come to you recently? Uh, Jock hasn't been feeling uh, well for a, a period of time. He's been having tests this week. Um, he rang me Monday night to say that the results from those tests weren't as he had hoped and that... Uh, by Wednesday, we were able to confirm that uh, he definitely needs to go into a um, chemotherapy treatment cycle, which will take six months, and hopefully put this uh, leukemia that's in his body back in, in, into its place. And so he stepped down Im- effective immediately? Yep. Yep. No, I talked to Jock this afternoon and told him I am not going to speak to him again on rugby matters. I will from now on be calling him and uh, seeking his welfare. Right, and so in terms of the the NZRU board, where does that leave things? Yep, so the board met this morning on the telephone. Uh, We obviously gave them uh, the news and they have elected Mike Mike Eagle as the acting chair until they meet uh, later this month on the 27th, which is a scheduled board meeting. And we'll obviously reassess things Uh, at that point. Jock will have a better idea of his treatment regime and and, uh, we'll make some decisions from there. From an IRB point of view, where does that leave things? Obviously, he's on some fairly <coughs> serious um, working parties. Uh, no, there, no. Graham, Murray's our, Graham Murray and I are the reps at the IRB table. Um, Jock's critical involvement with the IRB has been chairing the Rugby World Cup company, RNG 2011, so they've also moved quickly to uh, appoint an acting chairman, which is uh, Brian Roach. And again, that board meets uh, last week in May and we'll make some decisions about the future at that meeting. Yep. So six months, and then what? Um, basically, just take a stock take of where things are at, and then take things from there. Uh, yeah. Look, I'm I'm a, I'm a doctor, so I, I, I can't uh, predict that stuff. But uh, he's looking at six months of chemotherapy, which will obviously be a challenge for him and his family. Um, but the doctors are obviously very hopeful that that will uh, fix the situation that he currently faces. So I'm sure uh, that everybody involved in our game will will join with me and wish Jock all the best uh, for the challenge he has in front of him can think of no one else who's contributed more, particularly to the professional game, uh, than he has both uh, on and off the paddock now. And uh, he's obviously earned the opportunity to, to uh, have some privacy and some time to, to meet this challenge. And I'm sure everyone will join me in, in wishing him well.